Hi, welcome to my Google CS First review. What is Google CS First? It stands for Google Computer Science First. It's a super fantastic way to teach the basics of computer programming. It could be in or out of a school setting and it's free. It uses online tutorials as a guide and the website Scratch as a workspace. Scratch uses a computer language called Blockly to illustrate code so students can click together different combinations for a command. To start, the teacher or the host of the class will have to meet a few requirements. Number one, make sure you have computers, headphones, and students. Number two, watch the teacher training videos. They don't take too long and they will completely set you up with everything you need to do. Then choose a theme for your class. Fill out the form for your materials to be mailed to you. And you can watch my art theme class materials unboxing video to get an idea of what is in the box that will be mailed to you. The club runs through the teacher's dashboard on the Google CS First website. When you sign into the club, this dashboard will guide you through the preparational stages. It acts as the main hub of the club. It will also give you your club code. This code will connect the student's account to the teacher's dashboard for the specific club. Let's review the dashboard. Go to www.cs-first.com. Click on sign in. Now here on the left side here, that's where the students will go. And on day one, they will be using this area down here, this button, to enter in the club code. Right now we're going to be looking at the educator side. You sign in with your Gmail account. And this is the actual dashboard and here are the two clubs I have going. Now I wanted to show you first what your own profile looks like. So click on the top right hand corner where it says your name. And I really think this is an interesting feature that Google put in. This is fantastic for interview purposes and portfolio purposes. It's just a culmination of what you personally have done in Google CS First. So I've helped 45 students, I've hosted, I've been a guru, I've volunteered 16 hours and I've used these two themes. To get back to the dashboard, just click dashboard. So let's look at what your profile and your dashboard would look like. This is just uh, your profile for what Google needs to know on how to email you and um, you can keep this private or public. Students would just be available to see it. You could explain your role. Let's move on to my locations. This is a map that pinpoints places where there's clubs actively running. Google also says this is for mailing purposes. It's also for the general public to find open clubs to join. Let's move on to my clubs which brings you to the dashboard. It's an easy way to get there. Um, this is a list of your currently running clubs. I will delve further into these specific clubs. Let's finish up with resources and training. So if you click on resources it gives you a drop down box and you can get club materials. Here is where you find all of the different themes. When you sign up to be a club host or club guru, you would then choose one of these themes to use, and these themes are great. As you can see, you, the lesson plans are accompanying it, and it also is leveled according to easy, medium, intermediate, hard, advanced. All right, let's get back to the dashboard. Click on dashboard. Go ahead and click on resources. For support form, help centers, and to contact them, these are easy ways to get help. The support form is public, and the help center and the contact us have emails if you need um, some help. Go ahead and click on training. Here we see the videos for training before you start your club. Yes, this is a requirement to watch all of these videos. They're not hard. They're, they go by pretty quick. They're very helpful. They're also very easy to refer back to for help. So let's look exactly at a club dashboard. Here you see my timeline for my setup. I've gotten emails for each of these steps to remind me or tell me how to accomplish these steps in order to set up my club. I have no notifications, but this would be where my reminders for the setup would be. I'm gonna go ahead and click on materials. This is like your main hub for the actual club. This is what I have open while the club is going on. Here we have these video circles here. Right now I'm on video one, so that would mean it would show me the student video one, which is what the students would be watching. Lesson plans would also be according to video one. The example project would also be according to video one. But the solution sheets and all materials, that's for eight activities. Also the agenda timer and the showcase selector are for all eight activities. So you'll be using the agenda timer from the very beginning of the class to keep the kids on task and making sure that 
it there on the right video at the right time because it's very easy for the students just to stay on scratch and just kind of get lost in what they're they're doing so it helps them stay on task the showcase selector is for the end of the class it, when the students click share on scratch this will randomly select the students work and then you can have a conversation about it at the end of class as a great culminating activity moving on to student stats this is really great because this is where you see the student progress when your students are logged in you will see each student's progress and their responses from each of the sessions there is a student survey found on the last video as a wrap-up and so this is where you'd be able to see their responses it's anonymous and students can also send teachers a private message here so this is your dashboard it's a really great resource to have and it's your main hub for the club so unforeseen problems happen maybe a slow connection or something little doesn't work for a student and they just can't get past it I have some ideas to get through that one thing is to collaborate with your student next to you. Maybe they have gone through the same thing and they're ahead of you, or they may have just a better idea. Use collaboration as a tool. Sometimes just skip it. These little problems don't take away from the bigger concept. Go with the flow. Collaboration and communication and creativity is so important in this program. It is the underlying foundation of it. Thanks for watching. As you can see, the materials, the support, the dashboard, make Google CS First run smoothly.